Quentin. Welcome. Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Today we're checking out another Eastman. We got in a couple of new ones, and uh, we always love that time of year. Uh, Eastman's just, you know, wonderful company. You know, we've gotten, um, oh, they've had, there's variations of this over the years, right? We've had quite a few of these. Basically, it's a kind of a slope shoulder dreadnought. Mm -hmm. So It looks reminiscent of another guitar does. that we see frequently. Oh, maybe like this one. Oh, my goodness, what is that? This oh, is a yeah. Gibson J35. Maybe yeah. we'll compare them in a minute. All right. So but this is this is the E6 SS slope shoulder. Yep. Presumably. Exactly. Th uh, TC. TC thermally cured. Thermally cured. So it's the torrified uh, Sitka top. spruce. Yep. And yep. Uh, what do we got here on the back side? Mahogany back and sides. Lovely. It's yep. very shiny. Very very pretty guitar. Yeah. Uh, so that one's heavier too. Remember we were listening yeah. in the like. I don't know if it's this mahogany or what, but it's a little know. bit heavier. I don't know. It is it's like you f you feel it and yeah. So. We've, we've talked about many times when you pick up a guitar and you feel mass. Uh, so usually when we pick up a guitar and we've, it's very light, yeah. I'm, I'm presuming, because the experience tells me it's going to project really right. well. There's, yeah. there's not a lot of weight that needs to move around to get the vibration you want, right. to get yeah. the strings to move the wood to make the sound. Yeah. Uh, when there's extra weight, it's you know like any of us, if you've got to carry around extra yeah. weight, you don't move as fast or as effectively. Yeah. And so, um, but so I, it's going to be interesting to compare it to right. that maybe a little bit. Yeah, let's hear it. It sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not it's not a lot on the low end here. It's present, but it's not. But it's balanced. It's not booming. It's clean. It is very clean. Well, it's just a great. As we always say, you know. Price point, um, yeah. Features and price point. See, yeah. I, I picked this up and it's like, yeah. Phew. Can I see that one again? Yeah. Very different. Let me hear they're it again. Just, really Let me hear different. it again. Both are, you know, nice sounds. They're yeah. just they're, diff they're, they're different. They're very different. They're very different. Know, and as we always say, you know, there's a price point on these for you know, bang for the buck. Yeah, um, the nexus of features to, yeah. to, to cost. And this is a different animal, too. This yeah. is the J35 faded, mm -hmm. and with that faded finish on there. Right. So, I mean, you, you, there's a... There, we're just kind of... This is a good... Uh, we know this guitar, so we yeah. just kind of wanted to hear it against this one. Right. It's not really like we're... We're not trying to claim that these yeah. are the same feature sets right. all the way through. It's just, you know... It's just fun to have it's a, a... sample. It's fun to have a reference. That's what I, that's what I like. Yes. I so, know. no, I need to know, like, I don't know how this thing sounds till it's till I hear something that I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. So, and I like it. No, I like it too. It's, it's just, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're different. Yeah. So, I it's mean, so playability, it's, again, very nice. It's got, like, a satiny finish on the neck. It's uh, yeah. one, one and three quarter, probably. That one, I think, is one and eleven sixteenths. One eleven sixteenths. And then Dreadnought's one and three quarter. Okay. I think. That's, mm. I think the specs on that are. So, it's, it's thinner than what I would right. ever even, yeah. you know, consider. But it's, it's not uncomfortable you know yeah. again my on my if you've ever seen the video of my uh hg28 that's mm -hmm. that one's got the really yeah. wide spacing down at the bridge even though it's yeah. one and three quarters so it feels real wide there's yeah. good spacing i like wider uh fretboards but yeah. i it's not uncomfortable to play something like this so especially yeah. electric players who want acoustics i think yeah they transition to these size necks uh more yeah. more readily yeah got a nice tone. I like yeah. it. Yeah. And I think, that, you know, the big thing is Eastman, we've said this about Eastman products. Um, their guitars, their mandolins. They've yeah. Got electric guitars. Electric guitars. They're tops. all over the place. Um, I really think the quality of their products and the prices yeah. um, allow greater access for folks who are stepping out of, yeah. uh, like, yeah. truly entry into that mid-level. Yeah. You know, you I want agree. a guitar that's going to grow with you uh, until you're ready to... Until you yeah. hit your Powerball and you're ready to buy. Yeah. 
you know, your, 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 your vintage uh, Martin or Gibson or whatever. Think of that last person that hit the Powerball. It was like two billion or something. Yeah, they're gonna buy a lot of. Yeah, hopefully they're a guitar player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin. Yeah. Thank you. You bet. Tell me that model number again. This is the model uh, E6 SS slope shoulder. Yep. Uh, TC, TC thermally cu cured. cured. Thermally cured. All right. Yep. Cool. Appreciate it. You bet. All right. Thanks for watching.